We're all looking for that sound, that next thing, trying to find, you know, find that thing, that musical wave to get addicted to. When I tell somebody I play saxophone or when they see it, before they even hear me play, first thing it's like, oh, you play jazz, right? The first thing they think. I even one of my students even says, saxophone means jazz, Mr. Davis. I said, no, okay. I want to look up a list. If you look up a list of top jazz saxophonists, there's it's so many, hundreds, hundreds. All right, now show me a list of top, who are the top five hip hop saxophonists? Does such a list exist? All right, who are the top trap saxophone players? Does it exist? You know what I'm saying? Okay, send me a list of all the top gospel saxophone players. Like when I think of God, true gospel saxophone player, I think of one. Kirk Whalem. If there's something else, let me know. Who else has at least one EP, one album, or more of trap saxophone? 808s, hard knocking beats, two bar loops, just like trap music with the rapper, but it's saxophone on it instead. There's lo fi stuff and all that, but let's be honest, most of it is what? Samples. It's not a live saxophone player improvising over it. And then I really start to think about it, and I was just like, hold on. I got a whole hip hop beats album out that I put with, that I put out with HR3. It's called Aquarius Lo-Fi DZ. It's like 16 tracks. Some of it is me playing live improvised sax over classic hip hop beats, no, not sampled. It's a combination. I'm soloing and there's samples. Stuff I got coming up, you know, it's going to be like an EP, like five, six trap tracks with 808s, all the stuff, except there's sax on it. Or like my track, Lydicus. Like it's not, it's not a jazz track. You take the saxophone off, jazz isn't anywhere in sight. The market's wide open, y'all. I shouldn't even be giving this away. But there, there's got to be more than one for a movement to even start. I know there's the trap jazz all stars and all them. Um, sometimes the elements of trap music isn't in all their songs. Sometimes they sound like a modern gospel group. The one thing I don't, re I'm not really hearing in their music is like true jazz. Like it doesn't sound any of the people are like really coming from the jazz tradition. So I feel like the trap jazz movement is still. It hasn't actually really arrived yet. The term has, but has the sound where it's like, this is trap. And it's like, whoa, that stuff on top, that's true jazz. Like, I want to hear John Coltrane, Charlie Parker, Joe Henderson over a trap beat. Then I can call it trap jazz. The two elements have to be truly present, not this sort of, it's kind of that, it's kind of this.